Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in the world right now. My name is Matt from Kadorigami, and today we're going to learn how to fold my Origami Army logo to BTS logo. This is a transforming model, and it can also be a little bit of a fun fidget toy as well. So, let's get into learning this. I will say one of the first things we will need is a paper that has dimensions of 1 by 4 that's also going to be divided into an accordion grid. We'll get into learning how to fold this in just a few moments. But if you don't have origami paper, you can get this piece of paper just from a standard sheet of printer paper. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to divide the paper in half. So we're going to fold it in half like a hamburger. That's uh, how I was taught on how to fold paper uh, back in grade school, like a hamburger and a hot dog. Hot dog will come later. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and fold the edges into the center crease you made here. And I know it might be a little hard to see on camera, but when you're folding it in front of yourself, it should definitely be uh, much more apparent. And let's repeat on this side. So once you have your creases made here, and once you have the paper divided into fourths, you are going to take one of the corners and take the edge down here and align it to this crease. And fold the routes. This is okay. Let's repeat in this corner here. Again, this edge to this crease. What we're going to do next is that we're going to make a crease from this point to this point here. And to help better visualize it, I'm going to pencil in these corners. As well as zoom in just a bit. So with the pencil marking on the back side, we are going to fold this edge up and we're going to locate where that penciling is. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to align this edge to the edge right here. And as we do that, we're going to bring the paper down and stop where the pencil mark begins. Once you have that align, crease throughout this first half. And as you're checking on this one, make sure that it matches up with the other one on the other side. And crease. So now you have a mark or excuse me, you have a crease between these two points. You can also use a ruler to measure it out if need be, and then use some scissors to cut it out. I'm going to do that really quick. All right, so once you have your 1x4 sheet of paper here, we are going to start folding the accordion grid. So if you are using origami paper, you're going to start with the color side up. If you're using the printer paper here, just make sure that the creases that we made initially are all valley folds. So they're facing this way. So to start off with, let's fold our hot dog. So we're gonna fold paper in half like this. We're gonna fold the edges to the center here. We're 
repeat on this side. Now we're going to turn the paper lengthwise and I am going to mark where the creases we made first time around. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to take the edge and fold it to this first crease here. We're going to skip this one fold up to the next one like so turn the paper over and let's repeat down here skip and fold All right, so once you have those creases here, we're gonna have eight rectangles and four of these longer ones going this way. So now we're gonna turn the paper over. This is going to be the white side up now for origami paper. And so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna essentially do the same thing we did uh, where we folded the edge to each of the lines. So we'll start with this one here. And let me go ahead and mark the edges. So we fold it from this edge to this crease. Skip, fold, skip, fold. And not to sound like a broken record. <laughs> But uh, skip and then fold. I will say though that the uh, the pencils or the pencil markings are there just to help visualize for this video. Uh, you don't have to do that in the one you're making. Um, but if it helps, by all means. Let's repeat on this side here. Skip and fold. Hold. And last skip and fold. So now, when you finish this fold here, you have your accordion grid. So it looked like that. We're going to turn the paper back over. So colored side up, origami, <laughs> last time I swear, <laughs> color side up, you're going to have this mountain fold be the first fold that's facing you. So we're going to fold along this valley fold here, so just bring the paper down. Uh, we're going to go up three squares, so one, two, three, valley fold right there. So the paper is going to look like this. Okay. Go up to the next valley fold and fold it on over. And last but not least, we're going to go up three squares again. So one, two, three, and fold along this valley fold here. So what it should look like is that you'll have two rectangles facing you and one facing away from you. When you lay the paper flat, you're going to have uh, one column of squares to these two rectangles and three columns of squares to, uh, excuse me, three columns of squares to this rectangle here. And again, this is what it looks like from the side. So once you have this down, we're going to go ahead and work on the corners here. All right, 
So what we're going to do here is that we're going to take one of the corners from the rectangle. We're going to take this flap and fold it down to this corner here. Pencil it in once more. So you're going to take this corner and fold it to this one here. You are now going to repeat this on all the other side, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> on all the other corners of the rectangles. So again, just fold all of these corners down. Once you have all the corners folded like this, we're going to unfold all of them and we're going to do what's called a inside reverse fold. So watch this first one here. I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like. Okay. So all you have to do is just push the flap in like this, push it down. So these two creases are going to be mountain folds. And this one right here is a valley fold. Okay. So once more, open it up, push down, open up, push down. this up, reverse again the valley fold to a mountain fold. This becomes a valley fold. One more time. <laughs> Two more times actually. last time here. Again, the easiest way that I can explain this is that you are just pushing down on the corner like that, down to that crease right here, and folding it in. So once your two rectangles are like that, we're gonna turn the model over. Because we have those inside reverse folds folded in, we're gonna make a valley fold along this crease here. And these flaps should come up with the paper. Make some adjustments. Make a lot of adjustments. <laughs> Valley fold along this crease here. And repeat on this crease and this crease here. Again, you're just folding up on creases we already made. Let's make a crease along this line here. So we're gonna fold this flap on over like so. Essentially this edge is going to meet where this paper is here. And then we have two more flaps that we're gonna fold down like so. And crease strongly. All right, let's fold along this line here. So we're gonna fold this flap down like this and then repeat on 
this line here. So fold this down. What you're going to do now is that there is a pocket right here. We're going to, going to place uh, this excess piece of paper to allow us to lock it into place. So we're going to fold this not all the way to the corner, but about halfway. Okay. This is so that it stays locked in place. It's so only about half. And when we fold the flaps back on over, we'll go ahead and take the excess paper and place it into the pocket over here. Crease strongly. And to initiate the transformation, all you have to do is squeeze the sides in. This is going to take a few transformations in order to get it fluid and moving smoothly. But just like that, you guys have folded <laughs> the Origami Ari logo to BTS logo. So, uh, as always here, thank you guys so much for watching and folding along with me. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or contact me uh, here at my Instagram, at Um I'd be super excited to see your guys' folds, so please do share them with me, tag me in them, and I'll love to share them with my stories. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay happy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.